Now, Instagram is scared of what I could do. Look at guys. Look live live on Instagram. Look at my viewership going down tremendously. That's not normal. Look. Somebody screen record. There is no hardship. Screen record. It is what it is. At the end of the day, let's bring somebody in. I pay myself a million dollars a week. It's a nice round. I could pay myself. I'm bringing the first person in. That's what I pay myself. And that's what I spend. And I spend it all. What do we do, guys? What do we do? Four million dollars a month. Correct. I buy a new car three times a week. I bought a new car yesterday. What car did you buy? The new Vantage came out. Yeah. What was the configurator? Yep. Devin Haney got one of my friends beat up. Bad. He's in the hospital right now. That's not okay. The FBI is watching my live and they're lowering it on purpose. And I'm not even hating on the FBI. Y'all got to do your job, but why are you lowering my views? I ain't even do nothing. You're doing it on the purpose. You're doing it on purpose. Hashtag save the children. Because the FBI is trying to uh, protect the pedophiles. They, they don't like that I'm exposing the pedophiles. And how a bunch of the politicians are actually pedophiles. That's what they're doing. The more my viewers go down, the more you, I know the FBI is supporting pedophiles. You already know what you're doing. And you should be ashamed of yourself. The CIA is doing this on purpose. Yes. Look at what the CIA is doing. Bro, I buy Lambos in, on bulk. Give me four. On purpose. Because there's no way it's lowering this much. At this type of rate. Never. You should be ashamed of yourself, CIA. Because you know, you know we already talked. And why are you doing this? What have I done to deserve this? Other than save the children. The ones that you guys know are happening. I know there's some good people in the CIA. And if you have a good heart in the CIA, actually good hearted people in the CIA, then you would not let this happen. You're doing this on purpose, live in time. Everybody's a witness to this. Every, all 28,000 people are witness to this. We're trying to save the children. And look what you're doing. That's crazy. I mean, if you don't think that's real, guys, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove everything to you. I can show you how Lil Nas X sold his soul. Katy Perry sold her soul. And I'm trying to expose that you could get your soul back. Because that was never your soul to give in the first place. Your soul belongs to God. It never belonged to you. So... The deal you made was now no, Nolan right. Boyd. Right. Katy Perry literally admitted she yeah. sold her soul because, thing, because she wanted to be famous. A lot of people think, oh, you get money, you get girls, you get it's girls, true. You get clout. No, you don't. It's the right. truth. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's the truth. Katy Perry sold her soul. It's the truth. And if you don't think I'm, uh, I'm telling the truth, look it up. We know little Nas X is basically the Antichrist's little son. Because what does the devil try to do? The, tra the devil tries to copycat God. He got no original ideas. He just sees what God does and tries to do something. So, we really don't know what's going on. They say, oh, Ryan, you're crazy for saying Elon Musk is the Antichrist. But if you look up what... If you calculate the numbers, just I'm just trying to tell you, if you calculate the numbers, it adds up to 666. It says in the Bible, those who have wisdom can calculate this. Is little Nas X Elon Musk's son? We don't know. All I know is he's a devil worshiping asshole and disrespected communion. So you guys could let another person um, disrespect my quote unquote religion. And that's okay. That he literally made fun of, he made fun of communion. That's okay. But I'm the bad guy, right? I'm the crazy guy. 
but the shit is right in front of your face. Oh, I'm geeky, right? I'm geeking. Right? I'm geeking, right? Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm on cocaine. Yeah, yeah. I already test. I already posted my vital results. It just showed I'm clean. No weapon against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. I don't take cocaine. And snitch. Just kidding. I never did a cocaine, though, for real. Did you, hey, did you or did you not see my, my test results? And what did it come out as? Perfect. Did you or did you not see my test result? What did they say? Negative. Thank you. Thank you. Negative. Thank you. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming back as a roaring lion with blood on his robes from slaying all the enemies. It ain't time to be funny. This ain't nice time anymore. This ain't, oh, we gonna be nice. You know, we, 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 we. no, we ain't letting shit slide. Stop disrespecting Jesus. I ain't never disrespect no religion. Why are you disrespecting mine? You guys are some haters, bro. It's freedom of speech. Think about it. The devil was the he was he was leadership for the worship team in heaven. He literally was. He if you look it up, for the choir in heaven, he was leading it. So why do you think he's mostly prevalent in the music community? Because he knows music influences people. Here we go. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out. And so I sold my soul to the devil. That is sickening. And, 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 and disgusting. Um, so what do we do? You know, we have to we have to never play any of his music again. If you support Little Nas X, you are directly or indirectly supporting the devil. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep on exposing people today. You know, this you guys want their names? I, I got you. I got you. What is it? He invites. Wow. We're not surprised, Ryan. We're not surprised Little by all this fuckery that's going on. He is inviting you know. kids to to hell. Um, and he is, uh, he is disgusting. So, you know, that's another person. Uh, he for sure sold their soul. Little Uzi Burt tells all his fans they are going to hell with him. Before everybody starts screaming, they say, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers that enter the rapture. And if ain't nobody's fine enough to happen right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell right with me. So, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry, they can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times, and you didn't even know. That's up, but I still love you. Hold on, let me explain something to you. Wow. There you go. Another devil worshiper. Sickening. Um, I don't know what to say after that one. <laughs>